Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So up until recently, I wasn't aware that it was possible to run a Kubernetes in the home lab network to gain hands-on experience on Kubernetes. So after doing some research, I found that building a home lab for the Kubernetes can be a great way to learn. However, I struggled to find a beginner-friendly guide that covers everything from the scratch. That's why I created this tutorial. So in this video, I'll walk you through the process of installing a Kubernetes cluster on your home laptop with a step-by-step -step instruction backed with an official documentation. So let's get started. There are a couple of ways you can install Kubernetes service. In this video, we'll use Minikube. So what is Minikube? In a simple term, it is a tool that will allow you to run a single node Kubernetes cluster on your local machine. It's a great way to learn and experiment with the Kubernetes without having to set up a full-grade production cluster. So before we get started, let's take a look at the steps we are going to follow. The first step, we need to install the hypervisor. So Minikube supports several hypervisors including the VirtualBox, HyperKit and KVM. For this video, we'll use VirtualBox. Next, we need to install the kubectl which is a Kubernetes command line utility. So once you have the kubectl, we can install the Minikube and start the new Kubernetes cluster and deploy your applications. And that's it. With just a few simple steps, you can have a full functional Kubernetes cluster up and running on your local machines. So if you are new to this channel, make sure to show your support by liking this video and subscribing. All right, so let's get started to the actual demo. In this demo, we'll be installing Minikube cluster on Ubuntu VM. I'm using Ubuntu release 20.04. To run a virtual box, we need to make sure that we have the virtualization turned on. You can find this on the VM setting as shown here. So once the virtualization is activated, our first step would be to install the virtual box. For that, you can run apt get install the next command for the virtual box installation and include hyphen y to give yes if any prompt appears during the installation. So there are a bunch of packages to be installed, so it may take a while for the installation to complete. Once it is done, we can check the VirtualBox versions by running this command and we are currently running 6.1. We can also see them listed under the Ubuntu desktop. With that, let's head over to kubernetes.io where we can find the official documentation related to Kubernetes. So official document is the best place to go if you are dealing with new technologies. On top, you can find the documentation section and select install kubectl on Linux. Then choose install kubectl binary with Linux curl. This will list down all the curl command we can use in Ubuntu shell. We can copy from here and run it from our shell. You want to validate the binary image to see if there is no error while downloading the binary. You can follow the second step mentioned below, which is an optional. Here you can see an OK output, which means that we got a valid binary image and we can ready to go for the next step. So once we have the valid binary image downloaded, then you can run with a root privilege. We also need to give an execute permission and set the system path mentioned over here. With that, the kubectl installation has completed. Now we can check the version we have installed with kubectl client version command. Next we'll take a look at how to install Minikube on Ubuntu VM. For that let's head over to the documentation page again. On the right hand side we can see a getting started section. Underneath it select the learning environment. After scrolling down a bit you can see all the documentation for Minikube. Click on get started which will redirect to Minikube official guide. Over here we can see the installation for every operating system. In my case I will go with Linux and architecture as x86, release type as table and installation type as binary. That will produce a curl command right below. Well, let's go ahead and run this command on our shell which will install the latest release of Minikube. Now comes to the most interesting part where we look how to start Minikube from the virtual box and deploy an application. So once the minikube is installed, we can run minikube start command. But one thing to note here is that if you have a docker already installed in your machine, it auto select the docker driver as the hypervisor and finish the rest of the installation as you can see in your screen. However, in this case, we want to install minikube on a virtual box. For that, we need to go to the driver page and choose the hypervisor you want. In this case, we'll go with the virtual box and it will show you the command to start the minikube with the virtual box driver. So the final command would be minikube start hyphen hyphen driver equal to virtual box. So let's run this and I have noticed that this usually takes some time to get started. 
if you go to the window desktop and you go to the virtual box you'll find the mini cube vm is currently started running so now the kubectl is configured to use mini cube which means the mini cube cluster is set up and ready to use kubectl command which interact with kubernetes cluster and if you run kubectl get nodes command it will tell the mini cube cluster is ready and it is currently function as a control plane node because it is the only node available right now we can run mini cube status command and you can see the services like host kubectl and api services are running we'll definitely going to cover what is master and how it interact with worker nodes in our upcoming video now we'll use kubectl command to interact with kubernetes api the first command is kubectl get port hyphen a a stand for all namespace and this command is used to retrieve the information about all the running ports in this cluster the output include the details such as namespace port name status etc we can see all the namespaces are up and running finally before we head to the deployment let's run a mini cube dashboard command which runs a nice web query with a real time view of the current state of your kubernetes cluster this is the link to access the dashboard and we can play around with this dashboard once we deploy an applications so now our cluster is running and we can deploy the application through the kubectl command the kubectl create deployment command is a command used to create the new deployment in kubernetes cluster hello hyphen mini cube is the name of the deployment that we are creating and we are going to use hyphen image kickbase echo server 1.0 which is a docker image so the next command is similar to expose command which kind of defines where the service will be hosted and thus the application port number it should be listening to so to take a look at the new deployment let's relaunch the dashboard which will open a gui terminal for us to view the deployment status so here you can see the deployment status of hello mini cube with an image details also you can see the port along with the replicas that's pretty much i want to cover in this video i hope it was helpful and see you next time with some more exciting video Thanks for watching and take care.